Hello everybody and welcome back to another math video. Today I brought you guys this problem here. So the problem is asking us to solve for x and what do we need to solve for x in which problem? In the problem of x over x to the power of negative 1 is equal to 16. So we want to solve for x here. So for this problem I'm going to show you guys two different solutions that we can use. The first solution being more longer and the second one being a little faster. So let's start. So we have x over x to the negative 1 is equal to 16. So what is x to the negative 1? What does that mean? Well x to the negative 1, anything that is to a negative power that is the equivalence of 1 over x to that same power, to the opposite number here. So this is negative 1, the opposite number of negative 1 is 1. So x to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over x to the 1. So for example, if it was x to the negative 3, it will be the 1 over to the power of the opposite of negative 3. So it will be 1 over x to the 3. So that's how that works. But we're just focused with 1. So x to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over x to the 1. So let's write that in our equation. Let's rewrite it as that under the denominator. So now, this may look a little funky, right? We have a fraction under a fraction. However, this is equal two you have a number and you divide it by a fraction right so that's x divided by 1 over x is equal to 16 so there is a rule that says that if you divide a fraction you can do the exact same thing you will get the exact same thing by multiplying the reciprocal of the fraction so, instead of dividing x by 1 over x, we can do, what we can do is x times the reciprocal of 1 over x. What is the reciprocal? Reciprocal means that you flip around the numerator and denominator. So the denominator, the x becomes a numerator and vice versa. The numerator becomes a denominator. So x over 1. And this is equal to 16. So x times x over 1 is equal to 16. What is x over 1? x over 1 is just x, right? So x times x is equal to 16. x times x can be rewritten as what? It can be rewritten as x squared is equal to 16, right? Because if you multiply two of the same numbers, you just square. It's the same thing. So now what we have to do is just square root right to get rid of the square so we will get remember whenever you square root you will get a positive and a negative number so this will be x is equal to square root of 16 what times what is equal to 16 4 and negative 4 so that is our answer 4 and negative 4 is equal to x so now let us do this problem again with a little faster method that I will show you guys. So now let's do the faster method that I have. And this consists of working with the exponents of both of these numbers and dividing by exponents. So x over x to negative 1. So this x secretly also has an exponent like the negative one here. So what if a number is just normally by itself, what exponent does it have? It has the exponent one, right? Because if you multiply, if you have one value of a number, in this case x, if you have just one case of an x, then it's just x, right? So this is x to the one, and we're dividing it by x to the negative one. So here, there is a kind of rule when you are dividing by numbers with exponents 
the main thing is that they have to have the same base and as you can see here their base is the same which means that we can follow through with this rule so whenever you divide by two numbers with the same base different exponents or it doesn't have to be different exponents when you divide you can just subtract the exponents from another when you multiply them you can add them together but when you divide you can subtract them together so this x to the 1 over x to the negative 1 is just equal to x to the 1 minus the exponent on the bottom so minus so remember we have a minus and a minus here so make sure you don't write just one minus it needs to be two so this is equal to x minus negative 1 is equal to 16 and what is x minus negative 1 negative negative 1 means plus 1 so so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so our x exponent is x to the 2 is equal to 16 as we already have and what is square root of 16 we already solved this it is 4 and negative 4 so that is how you solve these problems so I hope you enjoyed this video if you guys have any other method of solving this problem please let me know in the comments please share it with us because I'm very curious about it and with that being said thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time bye